guys, thanks for stopping by. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some pieces by the brand Scoop that you can buy on the Walmart website. There is a really fun backstory to this brand and I cannot wait to share with you the pieces that I found. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. On the Walmart website, they're calling this top the tie-dye puff sleeve sweatshirt. This is a size medium. It is $24. The fabric is 95% rayon and 5% spandex. It is machine washed and tumble dry. And I think you can tell by the look on my face that I love this. Are there any other inner hippie chicks that are rejoicing at the fact that the tie-dye trend is still continuing? I just love it. I think that the print and the colors of this particular top are striking. Of course, puff sleeves have been on trend for a while now too. The sleeves of this top have a nice full puff and then it has this long cuff. It almost gives it kind of a renaissance shape if you know what I'm talking about. The fabric on this feels so nice. Even though they're calling this a sweatshirt online, it is a very lightweight sweatshirt. This is a perfect spring and summer weight in my opinion. It has a band at the bottom. I have a tendency to zhuzh the waist up and bring it up a little bit, but I noticed that it can be worn all the way down if you're not into that look. I cannot get over the quality of this fabric. I love every little detail about this top. It has a scoop neck. Typically, I prefer a v-neck, but in this instance, I think the scoop neck really works well with the style. I'm in love with these sleeves. I think they're extra special, and the pattern could not be more beautiful. Let me know what you think about this top in the comments down below. On the Walmart website, they're calling this the t-shirt dress with tie waist. This is a size medium. It is $28. It has a five-star rating online. The fabric is 95% rayon, 5% spandex, machine wash, and tumble dry. Now, you already know that I love tie-dye, and you probably know that I'm very partial to blue, but I have several issues with this particular dress. I'm going to talk about the positives first. It has a nice, comfortable scoop neckline, and I have to say that this fabric feels lovely. It is soft like a baby blanket and very comfortable. The issues that I have with this dress, however, start with the sleeves. They have an odd fit. You can see I'm kind of a triangle here, and I guess you could say, well, it's a short sleeve dolman or something like that. But when I lift my arm or even move around, I don't have to be standing with my arm over my head. This cuts way down and shows the bottom of a bra. That alone is off-putting to me, but the other issue that I have is I'm not sure what to do with this tie waist. I tied it in the center and it looks okay. When I tie it off to the side, I don't think it does me any favors. And speaking of not doing me any favors, when I went to tie it in the back, I thought, oh no girl, don't do that. My quarantine 15 was on full display when I even started to tie this in the back. So that's not going to happen. As far as the length, it's an appropriate length for me. Just as a point of reference, I am five foot four and it comes slightly above the knee. Random side note, but kind of related, I'm trying to show all of the outfits that I model in videos with both a heel option and a flat option because I realize that not everyone is comfortable in heels. Which reminds me, the white sneakers that you see throughout this video with the different looks are from Walmart. I did feature them in a previous Walmart video. I'll try to remember to link them in the cards above. I'm working on a Walmart video right now where I do another look for less, where I take a very expensive outfit and recreate it with Walmart pieces, but I digress back to the dress. I really wanted to love this because as soon as I touched the fabric, it felt so nice, and I love this color combination. It has some blush, some powder blue, and then some deeper blue and white. It definitely is a one and done, throw it on and it's an outfit. I'm really curious what you think about this dress. Be sure and let me know in the comments down below. Speaking of dresses, I have another dress to share with you. They're calling this the printed mesh wrap dress. This is a size medium. I picked this up for only $20. It was originally $37. It does only come in the one color. It is rated 4.9 stars on the Walmart website. The fabric is 96% polyester, 4% spandex. It is machine wash and lay flat to dry. 
There is so much that I love about this dress, starting with the flattering V-neckline. It does have already built into it a hook in the eye, modesty closure. It's a couple of inches below the perfect spot for me, but I feel like I could move it up to here and it would still lay properly. I love the pattern. I know it's a bit much, and I know some of you don't care for pattern at all, but I love bold colors and certain patterns, and this is one of them. The sleeves have this pretty puff detail, and I'm a big fan of that because I do have narrow shoulders and it helps to balance out my figure. The sleeve feels a little bit thinner than the dress. It's still not see-through or sheer, but it just feels lighter. It does have elastic at the wrist. I do wanna point out that I have extremely small wrists, and this comes right up to my wrist. It's not too tight on me, and I have a little bit of wiggle room, but just something to point out. I love the flouncy, fluttery detail at the bottom. Now, even though the description says that this is a wrap dress, this is not a true wrap dress. It does have a belt, which makes it look like it is, and even this cut here, but it has elastic at the waist and it is joined. So you can't just open this up and put it on. I did put this over my head. I'm also very impressed that at this price point, the entire dress is lined in the body, which is probably why the sleeves feel lighter to me because the sleeves are not lined. The lining in this dress gives it just a little bit of body and weight, but in a good way. It just feels quality. It doesn't make it feel heavy at all. It does come just a couple of inches above my knee, and as I mentioned, I'm 5'4", so if you are substantially taller than I am, this would be pretty short. Total random side note, but whenever I see bold floral prints, I think, oh, wouldn't that be pretty at a garden party? And then it occurred to me, I have never been to a garden party in my life. I have never even been invited to one. Maybe it's because we live out in the middle of nowhere in the country and everything looks like a garden, so we don't even find it to be particularly remarkable but I'm really curious if you have ever been to a garden party and if you have I have to say I'm a little bit jealous because I think that would be fun let me know in the comments down below if you have ever been to a garden party or invited to one but I got way off the tracks here the only concern that I have about this dress is is it reading too young I absolutely love the flirty little flouncy ruffle at the bottom but I am 58 years old and I'm wondering if I can pull off a ruffle like this so let me know your your honest opinion. Be honest, but be kind, and let me know in the comments down below. This next piece they're calling the printed cold shoulder keyhole top. This is a size small that I have on. This was $12. It was originally $25, and I did get it on sale. This is rated 4.1 stars on the website. This top is 100% rayon, and interestingly, the care instructions say to machine wash and tumble dry. I find that a little bit questionable. I don't think I've ever had a piece that was 100% rayon that said to put it in the dryer. This is so lightweight and would dry so quickly that I think I would err on the side of caution and either hang this or lay this flat to dry. I am in love with the vibrant colors that this top comes in. I picked this up in two colors and I'll show you the other one in just a moment. But first we'll talk about the details. Now I know that some of you will look at this and think right away, I am so over that cold shoulder look. I personally am not, and here's why. I don't have a tendency to show a lot of skin. I dress somewhat more conservatively, so I'm not big on showing a lot of cleavage, and I don't wear things that are so short that I'm showing a whole lot of leg. This is my way of showing a little bit of skin, getting in that little bit of sexy feel without really showing too much, if you know what I mean. I totally get it that this style has been overdone, and I actually like the style that this is made in more than most. Some cold shoulder tops just have a strange little circle cut out right here, and I'll be honest, I'm completely over that look. My preferred cold shoulder style is one that's cut exactly like this. It's kind of drapey, especially when it's really hot. This fabric feels like air. It is so lightweight and comfortable. Full disclosure,
disclosure, when I ordered this online, I honestly did not realize that it had elastic at the waist. And this particular treatment very rarely works for me. Much to my surprise, when I raised my arms all the way over my head, it didn't move at all. Maybe it just clung to the belt loops on the jeans that I'm wearing, I don't know. But it's not riding up, it is not showing any bare tummy. If it did, it would be a non-starter. I want to show you the other color. The first thing that I noticed when I put on the yellow version of this top is this is a size medium in the yellow and it fits exactly like the pink one. So I laid them on the bed side by side and lined up all of the edges and for all practical purposes the size small and the size medium is somewhere in between and the same size. It does make me wonder a little bit about the quality control, but because I love these so much, I'm really leaning toward keeping these. I love this happy, cheerful yellow color, and as I'm sure you know, yellow is one of the Pantone colors of the year for spring, summer 2021. I'm especially partial to yellow mixed with blue and white, so this is the trifecta for me. I like the drape, I love the color combination, and it's a nice, lightweight, breathable top. With all of that said, I am curious what you think about these tops. I gave you my reasoning for still wearing cold shoulder tops, but if they look totally hideous, I need to know about it, and I need to know about it now, because I'm seriously considering keeping both of these. Just in case you're curious, the earrings that I'm wearing were a clearance rack find from White House Black Market. The white jeans that you are seeing in every single one of my try-ons are from JCPenney. These are by the brand Anna, and they have been on sale a couple of times already this season for $20.90. The reason you keep seeing these white jeans is they meet all my criteria. They are first and foremost not see-through. They don't show lumps and bumps. I did size up to a size 12. It's just my preference to go a size up in white jeans. So they are thick enough not to be see-through, but they're not too thick. I don't think they're going to be heavy in the spring and the summer. I also like the raw hem at the ankle. These are a classic five pocket style. They have the perfect amount of stretch. And the last time I checked, they are still in stock. So I will link them in the description description box below. This fun bucket style macrame bag is also by Scoop. I showed this in a previous video. This is only $24. I am in love with this bag. It reminds me so much of the old school planters that we all had in our house in the 70s and 80s. I'll try to remember to link the video where I showed more detail about this in the cards above. The next piece that I have to share with you is a pair of shoes. I had originally intended to model these for you as I do all of the pieces that I order online, whether I think they're going to work or not. But because these are shoes and I know that I'm sending them back, I wanna keep them pristine for the next customer. I happened to stumble across these gorgeous shoes when I was looking online to find scoop pieces from Walmart to share with you. They're calling these the Caroline Mule Stiletto Heel. These were $18. They were originally $34. They are rated 4.8 stars on the website, and they come in two colors. I just didn't realize how high the stiletto is, and that's why they don't work for me personally. But I wanted to share them with you anyway in case you're comfortable in this type of a shoe. Many of the reviewers online said that this is a dupe for a particular Jimmy Choo shoe. In addition to the gold that I'm showing you, which I think is neutral and goes with everything, this also comes in a matte black. I thought that both were beautiful. I love the pointed toe. I got this in the gold because I envisioned that this would elongate the leg and also go with everything. It has this pretty band of rhinestones and then you can see that it has a little bit of a croco embossed or a snake embossed texture. The heel is very thin. It does have the little stopper. I think that the overall silhouette of this shoe is, dare I say, a little bit sexy. Is it comfortable? Probably not. I wouldn't have a shoe on like this for more than a couple of hours, honestly, if I were to wear a shoe like this. When we finally can get back to going to special events, how pretty would this be to wear to a wedding in the spring and summer? I just think it's gorgeous. I feel like I would be remiss if I didn't tell you the backstory of the brand Scoop. Scoop was a New York City boutique that celebrities loved 
and flock to. Have you ever seen the show Sex in the City? Many of the pieces that those actresses wore were by the brand Scoop. How fun is it that Walmart acquired this high-end brand and now we can buy these pieces online and they are very affordable as well as being stylish. I do want to thank my good friend and fellow YouTuber Carolyn from Carolyn and Her Clothes for tipping me off to this fun fact. I had no idea about the connection between Scoop Sex in the City, and Walmart until she told me about it. I am going to link Carolyn's channel in the cards above. Be sure and stop by and tell her hello. So let's talk about my outfit of the day. The earrings that I have on are a clearance rack find at New York & Company. This fun cutout top that I'm wearing is from Amazon and it is only $20. I am going to link my Amazon storefront in the description box below. I love this for so many reasons. On the spring and summer 2021 runways, cutouts were everywhere, and I wanted to incorporate this trend into my wardrobe without spending a fortune. This is a pretty form-fitting top, but it does have a good amount of stretch. I was also really surprised that I could wear just a regular bra with this, and the straps don't show anywhere. The jeans that I'm wearing are by Time & True. They are under $20. These are a straight-cut boyfriend fit. I love the wash of these. I decided to cuff these at the bottom to get a summer look for this, but they do look just as cute all the way down to the ankle, and they do fit me at ankle length. The shoes in the bag you see all of the time because I use them for all of my spring and summer try-ons. They match everything. The shoes are comfortable and give me a little bit of height, and it's my favorite woven bag for spring and summer, which is also from Amazon, and it is under $30, and I will link it in the description box below. <laughs> They're calling this the, no, they're not. <laughs> this is not a cold shoulder top, obviously. <laughs> I have three cards out here and none of them are the information for this dress. Hold that thought. If you would like to see even more affordable fashion videos like this one, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.